the X River Valley region. It's the heartland of South Africa's stable grape industry and farmers there are in the midst of harvest. The season's been good to them. The weather's been favorable. A weaker rand means stronger earnings from their exports. And China is proving a lucrative market. Leon de Kock runs one of the largest operations in the region. This year alone he will export more than 3,000 tons to the Far East. China for a, a place like the X Valley is a very big market. Um, our main varieties we focus on here, Crimson and Autumn, is the biggest varieties in China in terms of African produce. So um, for us I would say we can't call it the emerging market anymore. It is 25 to 30 percent of my business at this stage. Table grapes are meant to be eaten raw. They're a different variety to the wine grapes and only the best are picked for the export market. Not only are table grape farmers hoping the strong dollar might boost their exports, but some in the wine growing industry are pinning their hopes that they too can capitalize on a good harvest. Shiraz is a dark skinned grape that flourishes in the warm conditions here. It also produces one of the best cultivars for making wine. At this moment, it looks quite good. We did our spring program and we are halfway through harvesting, and it looks good. We have at this stage, a little bit more than last year. All the scrapes have to be, it, went, it will go to the cellar, so the wine will be made, so we will see what quality um, are the winemakers going to make, and from that we can see if it's going to be a, a good selling year. Over the last 12 months, the grape farming industry has been through a tumultuous time, including striking workers demanding wage hikes. But now a harmonious labor environment has returned. And with the onset of what already is a good harvest, this could be a very good year for table grape producers. Davis Andrews, CCTV, Cape Town.